Scrapbooking.com magazine is proud to bring you the following mixed media article from our April 2013 issue. Technique Supports Creativity, Part 1, Tools, Supplies, and Books, by author and artist Judy Kaufman. I want to offer a premise that I believe applies in many parts of life, especially when it comes to growing as an artist. Technique supports creativity. No matter what you want to learn, having a good foundation is fundamental. Some people learn by watching others before giving it a try. Others learn best from reading books. But ultimately, theory isn't enough, and watching others isn't the same as doing. Sooner or later, we come to understand the basics. After that, improvisation. Great artists understand that their vision becomes reality when they know how to turn the ingredients of their craft into something brand new. In other words, technique supports creativity. Mixed media is creative, inventive, nourishing to the body and the spirit. It requires technique and practice, an understanding of what is safe and what is not, and a willingness to experiment and move beyond what came before. Where and how you learn is irrelevant. For most people, it's a mix of in-person and online classes, magazines, YouTube tutorials, or instructions found on product packaging. The common denominator is that when we're beginners, we need to know how something works and why it works. And then we're free to improvise and invent. And after we're more experienced, the learning continues. No one is ever done when it comes to creativity. So let me repeat and expand my premise. Technique, the skill that allows you to use paint and brushes, pens and ink, cutting tools and all the rest, supports, enhances, encourages, and makes easier. Creativity, the process by which dreams and thoughts take shape. Technique is not an uncomfortable corset that binds or restricts creativity. It is the thing that sets creativity in motion. Painting without knowing what kind of paint you're using and what kind of surfaces are appropriate, without understanding how to choose a paint applicator tool of some kind, would be like trying to cook without knowing which side of the blade to use for chopping an onion. Once you know how a brush moves paint and how that particular kind of paint works on the surfaces for which it's intended, you're completely free to use the paint in a different way. Understand the basic theory first, and then you'll always be able to use paint to express your ideas, and you're totally free to invent and explore. Learning how something works before you head in new directions makes heading in those new directions possible and so much easier. Embrace the notion of being a beginner and invest the time it takes to learn the techniques you need to move your ideas from your brain to your hands. Please check out the full version of this article on scrapbooking.com for a list of some of the books, tools, and supplies you might want to consider as you begin your own mixed media adventures. And to find the products featured in this article, check with your local scrapbook retailer. Browse our premier retail stores for coupons to a store near you. We hope you enjoyed this article. Don't miss the rest of the great articles and features in this month's issue of Scrapbooking.com magazine.